specific obstacles in Armenia with migration? We actually we have a combination of, of key threats. Mostly it is of course the legal shooting, which still happens uh, at, at most of the uh, water bodies, like even Lake Savant, even, even though it is a national park, but we stu still do get cases of illegally shot uh, birds. Or the Armash fish ponds, which is one of the best ornithological hotspots in Armenia, but because it is not protected and it is a private uh, enterprise, so bird killing still occurs. And of course the habitat loss. We know the, 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 the key major environment problems, which is mining, uh, which is deforestation, all these things, or even urban conversion from, from semi-desert. That is to say, uh, conversion of these pristine habitats into something that would uh, serve the benefit of humans alone. That, that is the major, the key threat to birds. I hate to be harsh, but specifically in the case of Armenia, what will event, what effect can an event like this weekend have on industries that are doing things that are affecting bird life, habitat? Uh, decimation all that well basically we're not really targeting specifically the industries but we're targeting the the mass public the public communities uh, and starting from the school children of course when the school children are entrained into this activity they are pulling their parents so our idea is to reach to out out to as many people as we can and of course it will take years for for the humankind to start appreciating the the, the phenomenon migration because it's 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 not fully understood how birds find their way along the flyways. I mean, there is a, a research experiment that maybe actually they suggested that they're using the Earth's magnetic fields and the star constellation. But still, if you really dig into this problem and ask the scientists how actually birds find their way along through this journey, they will not be able to tell you the actual and <laughs> full answer. They just have some kind of extra GPS that we don't know about. Huh? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Um, Bird migration, something that you focus on quite a bit. Human migration is a story that we're doing all the time, specifically in Armenia with people leaving. What correlations can you see as to why birds do what they do in correlation with why humans do what they do? Uh, the one common thing that they share is the when you lose the, the living standards, when you lose the basics for living, which is the territory, which is the habitat actually, the favorable conditions, and also the you know the the idea uh, the places for feeding, like in case of the birds, people start leaving. The, they start to abandon these places, of course, and they're seeking out better opportunities outside their homeland. So, but probably, I mean, the the idea that pushes an organism to leave its habitat and to move to another habitat is because they're losing the basics of life. The difference is, as you said, the birds go back. I guess if the, every season it, it changes so it's better for the birds to go back. It's better for in summer for the birds to go north and in winter for them to go south. I guess if the areas improved then maybe the people could come back. Absolutely and we do we do have cases even in uh, in the uh, from the air from the field of the people migration we do have repatriation of Armenians that come back to Armenia because they think that at some point you know the life standard is changing and they still have some hope which is instilled in them that things will, is, are going to change and that that's what keep the Armenians to come back to Armenia. So same with birds. Thank you so much for being Thank with us. You.